Hi folks, Steve Califf here for Saba Video Update. Today I'm excited to bring you the brand new GY701 gyro and governor combination from Futaba. This is a magnificent little unit. You can see the controller sitting right here. In a second we'll show you both controllers, uh, or the controller and the, uh, the sensor. This system is S-Bus capable, so we have a single connection to the, uh, from the gyro to the receiver. Makes it very, very simple, reduces the wiring overall. This system's also set up with basic and advanced or expert menus and makes it very simple for you to set it up and get in the air. Also comes with a little quick start guide. And the quick start guide again goes through the basic menus, enabling you to get in the air really fast. So let's do a quick start up so you can kind of see how both the sensor and the controller start up. If you're looking right here, we'll, we'll turn the power on. You'll see the little pirouetting helicopter there, and then it'll do the normal tick-tock of the tail, telling you it's up and running. Now looking at the display here, we have some information displayed to us. We have up in the corner here the gyro gain, which tells us what mode we're in. We have voltage displayed. Now also, if we change the gain setting on the, um, on the radio, you'll see that that actually changes on the gyro as we, as we move it around. Let's do that for you real quick. You can see the numbers changing there as I move the gain on the gyro. So no matter what gain you set your system to, uh, using the transmitter, you're always going to see it change on the, on the uh, controller as well. Now we're going to move back and let you see the sensor starting up, just so that it, uh, you get an idea of what that looks like. Now here's the sensor startup. You notice it goes through its warm-up procedures and blinks around, and then when it goes solid red like that, that means that it's in the AVCS mode and is up and ready to go. Okay, now also I mentioned this is a combination gyro and governor unit. Now the unit is available separately. Um, either you can get just the governor, you can get just the gyro, or you can get the combination, and you can also get the combination with the servo for your tail rotor. The unit we're looking at down here is just a sensor for the, um, for the governor pickup. If this uh, machine actually had a fan and clutch installed, of course, there'd be the magnet up in there that this would be talking to to tell the unit what the uh, engine's RPM is to regulate your head speed. Now I'm going to take you through each of the menus that the uh, GY701 has. Again, we have basic and advanced menus, or basic and expert menus. Um, I'm going to be using a screwdriver to step through the menus. You should not do this, but I have to use this to uh, get my hand away from the unit so that you can see what we're doing. You should be using this little uh, black plastic screwdriver that came with the unit to make your adjustments. This is an anti-static. It's not going to hurt, hurt the switches that are involved or anything like that. So, a little disclaimer there. So again, on the control unit, you can see that we have um, two sets of keys. We have the data keys and the mode keys here. To get into one of the menus, we simply push the uh, data key, and you can see now we're in the gyro basic menu. Now to step through the menus, I'll hit the data key. First thing that comes up is servo type, and we can switch between digital 760, uh, 1520 digital, or even normal analog servos. Next thing is the gyro direction. Of course, this is where we reverse our gyro. Uh, servo limits. In the flight mode, you can step through 3D, um, F3C modes. So uh, uh, most guys are running this in the US, at least in the F3C mode. That kind of gives them the feel that they like the most. If you want a little more abrupt stops, then the 3D mode might work for you. So that's our gyro basic menu. Now if we're going to go into the governor basic menu, we just hit the data key one time, and we can again step through it using the mode keys. Um, again, first thing we come up to is our RPM sets, and we can run those up and down, uh, depending on what flight mode we're in, of course. Gear ratio, that's important um, so that the, the governor knows exactly what uh, to set the RPM at. Uh, again, servo types, 1520, 760, or the analog servos. Stick switch, um, that will allow the governor to turn on and off depending on the stick position. You can see as I move the stick on the transmitter how it turns it on and off. 
You can also set up an, a normal hard switch to turn the, the unit on and off if you like. We have battery sail face. So what that allows you to do is to set up the unit for a battery fail safe and then it, you set where you want the stick to reset the battery fail safe so you kind of your limp home mode. Again, moving on, we have our yaw compensation and this tells the unit um, where the gyro is mounted basically, uh, you know, whether it's going to go clockwise and mount it on the top, counterclockwise on the bottom or, or whatever. Um, your limit settings, so, so we set our idle, our high limits, and then we actually also have an, the ability to test the, the uh, limits here as well. The sensor sensitivity or how well the magnet is connecting to the sensor on the unit is what this screen is showing you. Now we don't have a magnet um, hooked up to this system so we're seeing uh, 5%. Um, usually you're going to be up in around 90-95% here. So there's our governor basics modes or menus. Um, SBUS, like I said before, this is, is totally SBUS capable. We're not going to go into this menu right now, um, but this is a huge reduction in wires. It gets you into high speed mode, so it's really your fastest way of operation. All right, we're back to the normal menu now. I'm going to go back to our gyro basic menu and we're going to bunch into the expert menu. Now as we step through this one, you can see we have a lot more going on. Uh, rudder neutral positions, our gyro gain if you want to set up ma manually here, um, AVCS modes, uh, Delay functions, you have an up and down delay, um, control delay in, control delay out, our stop delay, the working mode, you can have it in the command mode or we can go into our various different normal AVCS locked in there. In the CMT mode that allows you to switch in and out of AVCS or um, normal modes. See so just all sorts of different menus we have here that you can go through and set, very adjustable, even rudder hysteresis. Feed forward allows you to almost um, kick in a kind of a, re a Revo uh, mixing going on, um, something unheard of in, in heading hold gyros. And our, this is our feed forward rate. So all sorts of different things, and we're not going to go through every menu because there's so many of them, but Let's just say that it really allows you to fine tune this setup. Again, for the intermediate pilot, they're probably going to walk through this, or through the basic menus and hardly ever see the advanced menu menus. This allows us to reset the gyro back to factory specs. So there's our gyro menu. Now we're going to move into our governor advanced menu. There, there we are. Now we'll just step through each one of these. You can see again working mode, um, the display for the RPM that you want, response rates, gain, just all again all sorts of different things that you can set up to really dial in the way you want the governor to respond to the engine and the, your flying styles. Uh, back to resetting the governor, very um, important thing if you get messed up just take it just reset the governor or the gyro and uh, you can go right back to the factory defaults so there's our governor expert menu and really that's everything you've got in the GY701 system um, like I said you can for the intermediate pilots or beginning pilots you can use that basic menu spend a couple of minutes doing your basic setup and get in the air Higher end pilots are going to want to fine tune a little more and that certainly is what your expert menus are going to allow you to do. Well folks, there's the GY701. Um, again, this is the most advanced gyro governor combination on the market today. S-Bus capabilities, you are going to love the way the new sensor feels. Just absolutely incredible in flight. So for our Photography Video Update, I'm Steve Califf. Thanks for stopping in.